As you may know, my art space is just this corner of the living room. And I've been working in it for about 11 years, which gave me lots of time to make it as efficient as possible. So this isn't going to be building a new workspace, it's just going to be a bit of a refresh. Addressing certain pain points. One, this box filled with ink sprays and glues and gessos that I have to dig through constantly. I have this box just to throw my paper scraps and stuff, which is just slightly too small, so it's really hard to actually dig through. I have this previous pen holder that I made from foam core, but I made it in a really silly kind of way, so it's collapsing on itself and it's also not angled, so my pens keep tumbling out of it. I love pegboard, but sometimes it just gets into a disarray, so I need to reorganize that. Lately I've just been putting little books right here, just a little risky. <laughs> I also have a tendency to throw tall things behind my lamp, so anytime I move it, it gets caught on things and stuff falls over. It's sort of a unreachable dead zone back there. And finally, when there isn't a space for absolutely everything, it all gets tossed onto my clear space that I would like to use for my water and coffee so that I'm not dipping my paintbrush in it. <laughs> Oh, also I have a pincushion back here to hide from my previous cat. I have a tendency to knock over my paintbrushes trying to get at it, so. And the biggest task on my list is going to be building a new custom pen holder. And you might be thinking like, why are you making this out of foam core when the last one looks busted? Honestly, I would love a pre-made pen holder, but the only thing that I can find near me is one of those cube 14 inch ones, and that's not going to fit on my shelf. So I just wanted to be able to make something that actually uses the space that I have. And it does work. I just have to build the outside in one piece first, <laughs> which is not the way that I made the other one. I did make the poor decision of using hot glue for this because I just wanted something that was kind of instant, but it's messy. It's winter and so the glue is drying way too fast for me to get it into position, so I'm just kind of smearing it everywhere. <laughs> this is the first time I've tried making one with more angled slats, knowing how my pens are going to pile up on each other and falling out, so trying to get those inside of this box I was making was a messy disaster but if I can get it to actually function, then I don't really care how weird it looks like on the inside. I also made it way too like unnecessarily deep, so I had to add some little stoppers inside, custom fit to the products that I was gonna put on there so that they don't slide back and get lost. I want it to be able to stick out just enough that I can grab it. You notice that the first few layers look a little janky. I tried to reuse as much of the previous bent slats as I had as possible because it is made of plastic foam and I didn't want to just throw it away when I didn't have to. And here it is. I pretty much just made myself a CD holder that fits almost perfectly to my shelf and has way more room to grow into. I can't tell you how long I've been wanting to clean out the dead zone back here, so it was very full of dust and crumbs and things. So back to paint point number one with that box filled with ink sprays. I thought I didn't want them anymore because they were super old and broken, which is why I never used them. So I thought that I should just empty out the bottles, spray some papers, and then just use those papers as collage papers. But those bottles were really full and there's just no way that I'd be able to use them all. And actually only like four of them were broken. So I think with a little consolidation, in a less chaotic way of storing them, I think I'll keep these <laughs> because they are so fun to journal with. I just wish that the spray nozzles didn't break so easily on them, you know? And here is the after. Kinda just looks the same. So this probably isn't going to be that fun of a tour if you've been here for a while, but with just a little bit of adjustment, things become a little bit more efficient. There's less stuff in the dead corner. I can reach my shipping stuff easier. My Calero paints are front and center. This is my low-tech light bouncing system here. <laughs> I so highly recommend pegboard because it's just so versatile. With just a couple of hooks, I was able to move my wrapping papers up at the top instead of having them fall over whenever I move my lamp. I ended up mounting this beautiful shelf onto it using probably dowels, honestly. 
And we even have this like makeshift shelf down here that my husband made me that's just held up with hooks. It's really easy to just custom make organization on a pegboard. So you can use it for anything, not just hanging items. All those annoying things in that box, the sprays and stuff, I put it on top of this this tiny dollar store shelf that I took the drawers out of, but they're all separated from my commonly used items. So even if I never touch these again, they won't be contributing to my frustration. They'll just be right here, which means I get to move my glues to this Muji shelf over here, stored at a perfect little angle. I'm reusing this envelope box to store my little random cardboard pieces in in case I want to make a tiny journal or something. And under that is my old foam core organizer where I can just slide the Prismacolor trays directly into. Super lifesaver. Another shelf I made back in the day, I just put my little tiny found poetry books on it. Zines. I don't know what you call these. Cards. Just a random things that I don't really need to use all the time. I really like to use this palette more often if I can, so I'm just gonna put it there. I never found a solution to my paper tray. I was hoping to find like a magazine holder and I cannot find anything that fits in that space. I dumped out all of my craft paints because they were all dry. I don't really use acrylics that much and this is the box of random stuff, traveling pencil case, resin stuff, all of my active sketchbooks, inspiration books. I tape my small paintings to this clipboard. I use this ceramic plate as a palette sometimes if I ever want to clean it. <laughs> oh, I got a jelly plate up here. Another junk box. And here's a fun organizer from Michaels. I emptied the top one and just put all of my packaged paint tubes in there instead of having different packages of paints tipping over on my shelf all the time. They're just in there now. Polymark clay supplies, which I never really use that often. Resin stuff, not much in there either. <laughs> my favorite packaging basket. I like to ship things in sturdy photo mailers, so I got all of those in this one basket that I can just pull down whenever I need to. Everything down below is the same, just got my scanner and printer down here sitting on these wire cubes that I altered by just adding more cubes inside to make shelves. I use zip ties to hold those up. The paper's too big so I just leave it here and this slides in and out whenever I need to use a scanner. Cellophane bags, labels, um, papers that I want to use that are nice. <laughs> There's an altered book in action extra envelopes for Patreon, random papers and surfaces, cardstock, you know. Over here is my graphire I've had for a million years, cutting mat, papers that I hate that I'll use for like drawing maybe, copy paper for the printer. Oh, I found more bookboard. Shouldn't really be here, but okay. Uh, more bookboard? Okay. <laughs> I use this sketchbook for printing fancier things. Ugh, this envelope of scrapbook paper is another major pain point, but again, I haven't been able to find anything that fits this space that would work for that, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Something. So yeah, it's all newly organized, new system, when everything has a place, especially if I can actually see it and not have to open boxes, unstack pockets, the less effort it takes to put something away or to find something, the cleaner that my area will stay. Which means less mess to clean up. So now I'm ready for anything in 2021.